Hey YouTube, uh, this time I'm wanting to talk about an activity that is great to help reactivate your student's schemata. What that means is it helps build their background information and, and kind of get them into the lesson that you're uh, trying to do because they're already thinking about the vocabulary that you're trying to teach them. Um, one of these activities is called uh, semantic mapping. And what that means is you're basically brainstorming words that are related to other words, okay? And I was browsing the internet and I found a cool picture of this uh, security. Here's an example right here. So you start this activity by putting uh, a generic word, kind of like an umbrella term, in the middle, like security. And then you branch off from there and you think of words that are related to security. And in this example, uh, people had their students think of, so you had security and they related to problems and, and events and people and electronic and from there, uh, they branch down to even more words. Another example of this would be a, a children's book that I was reading not too long ago. It's called Homes. And so I put the word home right in the middle of my semantic mapping. And then I had, uh, I would have had students think of um, different words that are related to home. So maybe nest. And then from nest, you could branch to bird. Um, and another home would be like a castle. And from a castle, you could branch that to kings, to princes, to princesses. Um, and then from there, you can go on and on and on. So another one would be like a farm, maybe a, an apartment, or a, a water, the ocean. And what this does is it really kind of gets students thinking about what they know related to a word and how that can branch off. You really can go as far as you want with it. Uh, it's a really, really great way to start any lesson, even if you're teaching any um, public school lesson to students who aren't speakers of another language. Um, semantic mapping is a fantastic way to just help students think about what they know about a topic. Uh, if you like this activity and you want to see many more, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again.